Hi there, Doran from cgbookcase.com here with another Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a random color node in an artist friendly way. This technique is very useful when you duplicate an object multiple times and want it to have slightly different color, for instance when creating a grass field or a tree. So without further ado, let's start the tutorial. I already set up a few monkey heads on a plane which are all sharing the same material. To light the scene, I added a sun lamp and a sky texture. First, we're gonna switch from the default layout to the compositing layout. Then, we're gonna select one of the monkey heads and switch to render view by pressing Shift C. Then we're gonna press this little material icon and the object icon so we can edit the monkey's material. Next we're gonna add a hue saturation node and choose any color you want. Now if you play around with the hue value you see that the color changes. Then we're going to add an object info node, which has an output called random, which outputs a random value from 0 to 1. You can see this effect by Ctrl Shift clicking on the node if you have the node wrangler add-on enabled. Next we're going to connect a random output to the hue and then the shader to the surface. Now you can see that every monkey has a different color. You may not want to have any random color, but only different types of green or so, and you can easily change this by adding a mix RGB node, connecting the random output to the color 2 slot, and connecting the color output of the mix RGB node to the hue. Because the first color of the mix RGB node is set to a gray with brightness of 0.5 by default, we can change the strength of the effect using the slider view. Now if you want to create the handy node I showed you in the beginning of this video, you can do this by selecting the three nodes and pressing Ctrl G to create a new group. The last thing we need to do is to connect the color and the factor to the group input Press N and rename the factor to something appropriate, like strength or so. There we are, we've created a handy node group which you can import to all your Blender scenes using the append function. I really hope you've learned something new and enjoyed this tutorial. If you did so, it would be great if you subscribe to this channel and leave a like to this video, it really helps me out. Thanks for watching.